Good morning. It's morning coffee with Shawnee. <laughs> yep, the good old morning coffee. It was an interesting article that was uh, snapped to my attention. And it's about chimpanzees having habeas corpus. There's going to be a great big trial on between uh, universities holding these uh, primates captive versus um, the fact that they have our DNA, the closest to it. Um, I hate to tell you out there, but they are cousins. Yeah. So anyway, there's a, uh, it's a great article. I do um, encourage you to read it. Uh, now, when I, um, years ago, one of our gorillas, Lowland, was pregnant. And she had a baby girl, and we named her Nerdia. And um, anyway, I'd, I'd go and see Mama a lot. She was very pregnant, and I watched her get pregnant, more pregnant. <laughs> One day, it was hot. And she lay down, and her very pregnant tummy, and she patted it and rubbed her tummy. And I looked at her, and I said, I so know how you feel. That Lola and Gorilla understood what I was saying. It also understood that I was going to come and visit. Um, they recognized people. They are extremely intelligent. When the, the mothers need a break, they give it to the silverback who has um, a polygamous situation. <laughs> Usually two or three wives, you know. Give or take. But they dumped the babies on him. And now, if you've ever seen a baby gorilla, which are very, very strong, they climb on his shoulders. They sit on his head. They sit on his lap. They pull his ears. And finally, it reminds me of a, a, a father in a newspaper. He takes the baby off his head head it goes like this <laughs> sits the baby down pulls the other ones off his shoulder depending on how many babies have been born in the last year and he goes back to being his little grumpy self <laughs> silverbacks are huge and they can be real mean so when he yells or wants something the female usually get it for him you know but she's also not below yelling at him <laughs> um i've learned that by watching these beautiful beautiful primates that um they have uh, human qualities uh they're incredibly smart the same for the orang. The orangutan can learn how to unscrew everything and get out and get, let himself back in, as one did at the Woodland Park Zoo. <laughs> that was when they were redecorating, um, redecorating, redoing the habitat for them. And one of them did learn how to unscrew the um, opening and closing, and then he would let himself out and let himself back in. I don't know, you know, um, they're, they're my favorites, primates. And, of course, second would be my lions and uh, watching feline um, behavior and comparing it to their smaller um, relatives to the, to the cat, <laughs> which is a lot smaller. Um, another thing that I cannot get over are the African large dogs. These aren't hyenas. They're not wolves. They are large, huge dogs. They make my 
Great Dane look weak. Well, she's kind of a pussy anyway. But she, she's a baby. These dogs are, I mean, huge. These canines. Just huge. And, um, anyway, they had a Kong out there. A Kong? You know, where you put the food in it. So they're handlers, and they have to get used to handlers so then they don't attack them. So their handlers are playing fetch with this African dog, and uh, they have to get their food so they don't get bored, you know. They're like any other canine, and their habitat's pretty good. It's rocky and rugged, and they don't really have cages. They, uh, they have their kennels at night that they go to sleep in. But basically, they're just really, really mild-mannered. Um, feeding time is interesting there. Uh, I like lunch time. I, actually, I would be there at 7 a.m. for breakfast if I could open my eyes. But um, lunch time at the zoo is, is fun. It's just fun. It's something the kids should see. It's really cute. You should also go see um, our... Uh, eagles, hawks, you know, all the big birds that eat meat. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought I'd, you know, tell you that. It's, um, after oh, Nadia's birth, you know, she, oh, she's tiny, and uh, the pediatricians from Children's Hospital uh, looked at her. And um, she was fine. And she was of weight, which she should be. I think she weighed 6 pounds, 7 ounces. Yeah, you know, human weight. <laughs> and, she, uh, and she cried just right. Yes, they cry. And uh, they suck their thumbs. And they play their toes. And they love their mamas and their grumpy fathers. So it is, it's something that we as people need to really um, look at it and, and stop the poaching in the Congo and in the lowlands. Um, it's, uh, the poaching is horrible. They, they get the adults, they kill them, and then they take the babies and they black market them. And they're using, um, for hands and, and feet. People actually buy that crap. Uh, the same thing with the elephants. They kill for tusks and feet. Some people like them as end tables. That's strange, aren't they? So, um, there was a little um, YouTube article about a gal, she was young, and her father uh, buying these wild animals and, and putting them in an area where she could, uh, basically he was a paid gamer, and uh, he paid quite a lot of money for that kid to go in a helicopter or go on her own and then shoot these animals where they could not get out. And I still maintain, she was killing, by the way, animals that are almost extinct. Not only that, the way uh, she had no business doing it, none. She'd been thrown out of the country. Uh, and, you know, actually her father would be put on a list, in my opinion. Of people not allowed to pay or even allowed in certain areas. You know, when you're rich and you have nothing else to do but kill wild animals and ones that are soon to be not here because of behavior like that, um, I think they should go to jail. I really do. I consider it a form of murder. And uh, especially with your lowlands and your Congo, your chimps, that is murder. <laughs> Straight up murder. There is my opinion. But do look up, my dear, uh, Woodland Park Zoo. It happened. Oh, gosh, she's got to be close to. 
she's a teenager by now. She's probably, I think she's got, she's gonna have her own baby. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you.